Hi everyone, I'm back and today we're going to do something specifically for babies. So a lot of times it can be harder to figure out what to do with a baby um, because they a lot of times aren't interacting back with us yet, but there are a lot of great things we can do to help promote early literacy and learning development skills long before they can actually truly interact with us. So I'm going to show you um, one of my favorite lap bounces today. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate with my teddy bear because I don't have my baby with me right now. But you can, if you have just a little baby um, that's not very old, you can bounce just a little bit, um, get a rhythm in there. And this can be really soothing too because that beat will remind them of their mom's heartbeat. And so it can be a calming exercise as well to bounce them just a little bit while you're singing. Um, for older babies, you can bounce them higher once they can hold their head up and they're getting stronger. Um, feel free to bounce them just a little higher and in this rhyme, um, squeeze them a little tighter, those sorts of things. But this is a hippopotamus got on a city bus. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus and all and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. There's two more verses. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, move over. I like to do it both ways, move over. And the last one is a sheep. A sheep, a sheep, a sheep got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up. So this can be a lot of fun with babies, um, infants, um, before they're walking or even maybe just right after they're walking while you can still get them wrangled um, to do a little bit of a lap bounce. But hopefully you enjoyed a hippopotamus, get on a city bus, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.